It's rare that we don't have anything in the garage. Ever since we got it, I kind of just always have something on the go in there. So it's kind of always messy and it's never been nicely cleaned. And today I cleaned it and I cleaned it well. Like I would just like everybody to take a second and appreciate the space we have right here. Cause I feel like I got this and I hopped right into it and I started doing stuff right away and I didn't really like take a second to appreciate how much room I actually have. Even though we are running out of room actually pretty quick. I picked up this new shelf for like all of our scraps. So that's like all old exhaust pipes, suspension parts, stuff that like we want to keep in case we need, but like we don't really need to do anything with. And then I just added another shelf under that empty space because that used to just be like an empty cutout and it was kind of a waste. All the pile of stuff that was on the floor, if you guys remember, literally all that's going to the scrapyard is that. But mainly I've just been cleaning for the last day and I wanted to show you guys how nice and clean this thing looks when it's nice and clean. My horn's so broken. It sounds like a sailboat. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today, we're playing more a game of will this work than actually doing an install. So we bought, I'll just show you. We bought a turbo timer on Wish and we paid $17 for it. Now, before I show it to you, I bought this. I tried to buy three turbo timers, okay? I bought one and it said we can't ship it, blah, 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 some crap. So I got a refund, I bought another one. And then that one said they were actually out of stock. I don't know why they were selling in the first place. Only one left. The only one that was still a budget turbo timer is unfortunately, probably a knockoff of HKS. I know you guys hate when this happens and you buy like a real name knockoff because the, for the most part, this car has just been like cheap things. Like my cheap oil pressure gauge was not a fake AEM. It was like some garage fire. Anyways, today we're installing this $17 HKS turbo timer. This actually is one of the, the few things, I bought this on Wish and this shipped within like a week, which is like absurd. And this whole car has been built from Wish, so we're used to waiting months for parts. A real HKS turbo timer is like over hundred bucks. It doesn't really have to do much, it just has to have a timer, but like, I don't know how much I trust the $17 one. So we're gonna find out today. We're gonna need Emerson to unbox this. Emerson! Emerson! Hey! You got like a foot between you and the curb. <laughs> Can't have an Asian friend without bringing spring rolls. Love you. Dude, this looks so good. We're gonna have to pause the video for a second here. A few moments later. Just have the spring rolls sitting there, because we can eat them. To be honest, I don't know what a legit one looks like. Wire onto the side. Huh? To connect to position. What? The proper wiring. Use, huh? So what's the first step? Okay, first step. What take, is all this stuff plugged Take into? that apart and disconnect the battery. What's all that plugged in? I haven't got that far in life yet, right? Okay. So. Okay, battery is disconnected. Just drop the panel, that's all you need. Like the cover on this. Yeah. Okay, we have everything exposed. Okay, so we need to splice into this. The black one, the yellow one, and the white one. I don't like how that sounded like a question. <laughs> so it looks like what we're missing is the vehicle specific connector. So every car has different wiring, every car is set up differently. The turbo timer is meant to work on any car. But the connector to connect the turbo timer to the actual like switches and wires it's supposed to be connected to, we didn't get. <laughs> Basically right now, Emerson is just Googling what color wires we have to tap into. And then we're just gonna kind of like do a DIY harness looking thing. We're just gonna tap into three wires and run them. So this one has a plug with three wires going to it. And then we're just gonna tap into three wires, connect them to those three wires and see if it works. Okay, so what wires are you tapping into? I don't know, we're just gonna try. Since the kit didn't come with a new harness, we're just gonna do something a little bit sketchy and we're gonna use like these connectors and just slide them over the three pins. If we bend them all away from each other, then there should be no way they'll actually ever end up touching each other. And then we should never really have a problem as long as it's done right. Yeah, so there, that's easy to understand. We don't have the harness. We'll put tape around them. We'll make them so they don't like touch each other ever if it, if it works. Once we realize, what, once we figure out which wires we need to use and we decide, okay, we've got the right ones, then we'll make this a little bit safer. For now, this is just like testing purposes. I just wanna see if it turns on. I wonder if it works without the parking brake. Are you ready for me to plug the battery in? Yeah. Just give it some power and see if it lights up is the main thing. I see nothing. Test one at finding the right wires, failed. Oh, that could also be the reason. Wait, you didn't plug the whole harness back in? I forgot about that. You dumbass. <laughs> You know why? Because I was on a I was on a phone call, right? Oh um, sure, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. one. Hey, lit up. That's one step closer than we were before. I don't know what that, that means. I don't know, but it says thirty seconds. Okay, so now do we just read the instructions and like test it out? See yeah. Well, I don't know if these are the right wires I connected to. Before you turn it on, let's read the instructions. See how we're supposed to use it. We'll test it. 
before we saw everything up. Well, I just want to see if I start it if something else goes wrong. Okay. Nope. Yeah. That, <laughs> that didn't work. So we did that wrong. Yeah. We didn't read the instructions. We just wanted to make sure the car would run. And then we tried to do it on the fly, but that didn't work. So let's read this, see how we're actually supposed to use it. So I think we need the parking brake on. Because it says to use it, all you do is select your time and turn it off. Uh, cable's right here. Chip boot thing, rubber thing, is the gustiest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. So for those of you that don't understand, there's like a, a kill switch where if the parking brake is unengaged, turbo timer will not work because the turbo timer thinks that you're like shutting the car off in like an emergency or you stalled or you're in an accident or whatever, right? So, so we gotta hook up this wire that's connected to this that tells the car when it's on, that's how your light works. And then we just gotta splice it, send it to that. Then the turbo timer should work, we hope. Okay. something. Alright. Okay, so it says with the e-brake up that you literally just select your time, so you go 30 seconds, and then just turn it off. You think it's gonna work? I don't honestly think it will work. <laughs> I think this thing... Yeah. I don't know why, but I just knew this thing wasn't gonna work. Oh my god, dude. Oh, David's here. For all you guys that always comment when you see the blue RX-7, for those of you that know him by David, when you guys see this blue RX-7, you always comment the exhaust is too racy. He got a new one. Let's listen. still loud, but it's much better. Basically, we've been at this for like over an hour and we don't have a multimeter, which is the problem, but it's too late to go buy one. Like we're just trying to do it without one. And what a multimeter would do would be find the wire that gives us power when the car is on and goes off when the car is off so that we can find the right wire to hook up the green wire to. So that's why it's taking us so long. It shouldn't take you long if you have like the right stuff set up. So basically we're just, we're getting it working. We just can't get it to the point where when you turn the key all the way off, it stays on. We got it to where it stays on in accessories. We got it to do everything except work when you take the key all the way out. Take the key all the way out. Oh, it's working! I can't believe we did that. Now, what happened? That's it was it. at 15 seconds, dude. Hello. That was early. Hello. Oh, no, let's try it again, where is it? The keys? Yeah, right there. Oh, it's not on anymore. Oh, it died. I don't know, but it's not on anymore. David, we have a problem. What? It was working, then it died. I don't understand. What broke? Like, what stopped working? It's directing to put it to the battery. Oh, 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 rest in peace. How do you blow something when it's doing its job? It literally blew up right in front of us. Well, I guess that answers the question of the title of the video. Does a $17 turbo timer work? No, it blows up the first time you get it to work. And we had our first official wish fail part. Out of all the wish parts we've had, and like, the amount of wish parts that we've had on this car, I'm honestly surprised to say this is the first one we killed. When I said like, does a $17 turbo timer work? It's like a joke. Like, obviously it works, it just sucks, and the quality is trash. But it actually I think blew. Fried it. <laughs> it actually fried. It like, worked. one time we got it work, and that's how I know it fried, because we didn't get it working every single time. And the one time we finally got it going, and it was finally counting down, it blew itself up. Like, it couldn't, it couldn't even handle its own job. It just self destructed the second we got it going. Anyways, we're super late for this car meet. It started like hours ago, yeah, and exactly. so now Emerson's rushing you to get everything put back together so we can go to the meet. I'm sorry that the install part of this video ended so abruptly. Basically, we started this way earlier and it was not supposed to take so long. We ended up having, like you guys saw, a million issues and that didn't work. So right now, we threw everything back together in the car. I didn't really show you guys that because we're in a bit of a rush because we're super, super late. And we're headed to just like a local Saturday night meet, but it's the last Saturday night meet of the year. So apparently it's huge, there's like a couple hundred cars out there, so we're gonna go. That is really all I know. I'm basically just following a crowd of cars right now. Video's not over, but that part is over, and I'm sorry it ended so abruptly and kind of without any context. <laughs> he can't go past four grand and he still got me. Yo! <laughs> What's up, yo, Brian? Nice to meet you. I didn't think I'd actually see anybody out here. Oh, we gotta grab a photo after. Oh yeah, for sure. This is more packed than I thought it would be. Um, we let everybody vote. They voted for like a gray. Oh, like right, a yeah, yeah. I painted like five times. This car would suit you so well. Can you stand beside it for me? 
<laughs> Look at this kid in this car. Oh my god, this car is literally meant for you. Yo, I have these blinds in my bedroom. Should we can just get Wish Underglow, dude? <laughs> oh, no. You want to? I've done it. I've used Wish. For Underglow? Yeah. Dude, it's, it doesn't look bad. This, this like would it. be so fast and furious. Me and Courtney just had the best ride home. Like we actually just like boosted the whole way home. And she's never, she's she's like experienced boost before, but not like majorly with this car. We haven't, she hasn't really been in it a lot since it's been boosted. I was just getting on it a lot, showing her like, I don't know, just showing her how fun it was. So it was cool. We had a good drive home. It was actually a really cool car meet. I was expecting it to be something small. That's why I was like a little bit hesitant and kind of bummed out we were gonna go. I would rather stay and try to figure out like the turbo timer and I don't know, I know it blew up, but I just wasn't in the mood to go, but then we went and I actually met a lot of you guys there, so that was really cool, and I didn't expect to meet anybody there, I wasn't like, that's not what I went there for, I just went there, I thought it would just be like a little local season ending meet, and I met a lot of you guys, and it's really awesome that there's a lot of local support and stuff, so thank you to everybody that was there, it was really awesome to meet you guys, I love, like if you guys ever see me anywhere, just come say hi, like I'm like a very easy to talk to kind of person, and I love support, so like if you just come up and say hi to me, like, I will talk to you. I'm a nice person. There's nothing to not say hi to. I've read in comments before people are like, oh, I saw you, but I didn't say hi. And it's like, dude, just say hi. Like, that's all I'm going to have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.